What is up, you guys? Yes, we are here with another demo, Metal Gear Rising. And if you want to know, I have not played this game yet. And so, how about we step into the demo and get this crap started? Let's see the options. Okay. Let's go. Easy. <laughs> easy, baby. We need easy. This is the first time we played this game. So let's do this. Easy mode. I know what y'all about to say, like, easy mode. Man, who do you... Easy mode detected or something. Anything like that. But, we just played this game. This is the first time we played it. So, let's just be safe and do it. Do it, No! Yes. Alright, I'm about to be quiet. Ryzen, it's Boris. You hear me alright? Hmm. Then let's begin. Her doctor custom designed this VR training to test all your new abilities. You should get comfortable with your new body before we send you out in the field, yes? So, first is Blade Mode. Alright. Okay. We in Blade Mode. Woo! Look at me cut. Look at me, Blade mode. Have the idea? You'll find the number of targets in the VR space. Oh, I'm running! Whatever I'm running! Case. Alright, let's go around. Yeah, look at me cut that stuff up. Let's go. I already know how to jump. Right, that's supposed to be the first thing. Hey, hey. I'm right in. Careful, Ryder. Some of those targets are holding hostages. Use blade mode to take them out safely. Hey, let me see what you look like. Oh yeah! Still don't know why he wears boots. Why are you doing that? Yeah! Yeah! Cut him up! Woohoo! We got him! A P! Oh no! Alright then, enough with VR training. Alright, now we're about to go to real stuff. And this is where you pause the game. To like, read the prologue. My controller's vibrating. This is weird. This is really weird. Sex the body. How is it, Ryder? So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct V to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. 
<laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, right? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing from their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three months out closing. It's two and a half ten. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. The black cow. We have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but... I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and the last year's And his armed supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. And Bonnie's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. <laughs> kind of a joke. I mean, yeah. Raiden, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solitan radar. Contact us on Codec if you have any questions. Hey, look, it's a cat! Boom, boy! <laughs> oh, cat hat like that. Yeah, yeah, kill that cat! <laughs> okay, no beef. Alright, let's go. Yeah, kill that cat! Look at someone's car! The bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against the state of the arm. Wanna destroy the car? Slice you up like a son! Oh, he's in a bad word. Oh, yeah. Let me know. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. Nice. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. 
Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Hmm? Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOB out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the mark. Well, that wasn't recorded. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> <laughs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Okay. I guess this is where we stop. Because it's getting a little bit too long. <laughs> the cutscenes are a little bit too long, but whatever. So anyways. Thank you all for watching this. And I love this game so much. But before we go... Alright!